Our top story tonight, Governor Jan Brewer's Monday State of the State address, she proposed abolishing the Division of Child Protective Services. She wants to set up a new agency to address the backlog of cases of abuse and neglect. Now, NAZ Today reporter Kimberly Kraft is in the studio with some local perspective on this issue. I'm here today with Julianne Hartzell. She's a board member for the Coconino Coalition for Children and Youth here in Flagstaff. Thanks for being here. Oh, thanks for the invitation. Really do appreciate it, as a matter of fact. Well, obviously, we want to ask you about the governor's proposal to create a new service to take the place of CPS in light of all these uh, abuse reports that have been neglected. Right, right. What's your perspective on that? Um, well, first of all, I think I uh, admire, not I think, I admire the governor uh, for taking some type of action. This is, we know this has been going on for a long time. Uh, now it's being recognized. Whether or not we think this is going to be the, you know, the answer to everything, I'm not sure. But at least it's a step that we can all try and gather around the governor and um, help protect our children. I'm sure that next steps will be revealed to us in time, but you have been involved in this issue with children and families for some time. Right. What, what kinds of issues would you like to see addressed? What are you dealing with right now? I think first and foremost, um, we need to address prevention. We don't want to have our children um, in CPS situations at all. So uh, to, in order to do prevention, uh, mm -hmm. we need to have more uh, families that are willing to take these children in. We need foster care families. We have a very low number of foster care families in our uh, communities. Some children have to even be sent from Flagstaff to another community. Um, we need support for families themselves. We need support for grandparents who are raising grandparent, uh, their grandchildren. Um, those are the kinds of the preventive methods I think we need to really take a close look at. And of course that means the funding behind them. And that's always, it's always going to be our hardest part. That's right. Well, you have education fu function, but what do you want John and JQ public to know about it, especially here in northern Arizona? About education itself? How about, about this uh, issue <laughs> of, of making it better for our children? Um, to make it better for our children, we have to start looking at our poverty issues and concerns. Um, it's a, that's a big one, it's, and it's a hard one to address. But again, with all of the services that Northern Arizona, that the state of Arizona provides, there's no reason we cannot be helping these families um, get jobs rather than uh, taking away their unemployment insurance, et cetera, et cetera. Because when you do that, that is going to check, affect a child in their home. And that's what I care about. Those are the issues that we will address the next time you come. Oh, hey, <laughs> thanks, thanks so for the invitation. Thanks so much for being here with us today, Julianne. Thank you.